feeling of failure has been so misunderstood. For some reason, some people believe that. Um, they believe that um, once they fail, it is the end of the world. That is the end completely. But let me tell you something. I want to tell you something different about failure. You think failure is just failure, right? I get it. But hold on. Because there is a twist to it. Failure isn't the end. I'll tell you my story about failing hard. Before then, I just want you to know that failure is just the beginning of an incredible journey. A journey towards growth. A journey towards resilience. A journey towards success. First things first, let me welcome you all to my YouTube channel. My name is Princess and I'm a mom. But I want to share a secret with you. I found out recently that my daughter watches my videos. And my son told me that his friend found me here on YouTube. And he has been watching me since. I was like, wow. <laughs> this is why the lessons that I bring here are from my heart. Deep within. And it's a message to help motivate this community. I want to motivate you to keep going. Now to the topic of the day. Buckle up. <laughs> because we are going to redefine what it means to fail and how it can propel you, propel us to extraordinary heights. Okay? So after we talk about this, get ready to embrace failure like never before. Okay? When you fail, there's a reason for it. Failure can be defined in several ways. Number one, resilience. When people fail, how they bounce back matters a lot. Because when you fail, it demonstrates your resilience and your determination. So I was going to tell you a story, right? So it happened in the year 20. 2008 I went to write an exam in Paris that, that exam was going to define my career and I failed I failed they said it was a narrow fail but to me it was a failure I was devastated my world crashed and I was confused now, I did not know the way forward I was I was just talk. I cried and cried. But the caveat is that I did not let it define me. I pivoted. I changed the course and my career path. That decision is the reason I am here today in Canada. I changed my course of study. And that, that's where I'll talk about character. Now, how you handle failure, it's either you handle it with grace, with humility, with perseverance, or you let it destroy you. And that speaks a big amount, a big lot about your character. Failure is a learning process. You learn. Because failure can be a great teacher. Failure was a teacher to me. Failure can shape your mindset, your approach, and it gives you wisdom. I became wiser because I saw that it's not only one way, there are other ways. Failure can bring about innovation. The greatest innovations that we have today, 
in the world and the breakthroughs that are that have stemmed from failures or people's feeling it's evident we have we have jobs because how you feel how you handle your failure can define your ability to innovate and adapt we have the guy that created the bulb he failed so many times but he didn't let it define him failure can help you to be motivated it can fuel motivation it can drive you to work harder smarter and with more focus to overcome obstacles so when you fail today look at it as an opportunity to achieve success tell yourself that ultimately failure doesn't define a person as much as their response to it does how you respond to failure matters a lot please don't stay down pick yourself up and go forward pivot if you need to and try again but don't you ever ever give up on yourself don't you ever ever give up on yourself there is always the light at the end of any tunnel where you find yourself and for the fact that you have failed today does not mean that you will not succeed tomorrow so try again if you want to stay in the same line of study give that exam another shot many years ago i used to look at failure in this way the fact that i fail means that i need to study harder and that's how i looked at failure when i was in school at the university the fact that i failed means that i need to approach my study in another way that means i've not got the idea i've not got the gist i've not got what this course is all about i've not got what this thing is all about and then i go back and i re-strategize i look back again and see okay maybe there's no i don't have so much strength here i can do things better and i go back to the drawing table and i look at my failure through another lens i tweak i tweak things here and there and then i move forward and that's the same technique that i use today that's the same technique that I, that i employ today in my work on my job with anything at all even with learning to make my daughter's hair i tried many times i've never been someone who makes hair but today i make my own hair i make my daughter's hair I'm not an expert. I'm not total, totally so good professionally, like a professional hairdresser, but I am working with what I have and I'm saving a lot of money. By, <laughs> by the way, I'm saving a lot of money. So thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for um, staying till the end of this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe to this youtube channel i'll see you in another video and to my young viewers remember that you are the best you are the best and the world awaits you you are special and with motivation and determination and perseverance you will get to achieve what you want make sure you're making right choices Making, make sure you're making the right decision. And whenever you need advice, ask for advice. Get a mentor. Read a lot of books. Listen to the right kind of videos. There's a lot going on on social media. A lot of things online. But please do yourself the good of only selecting educational videos and videos that will profit you and make you a better you. But I'm rooting for you because I believe in you. And you have a lot to offer. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.